All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, in this tutorial, we're actually going to create a little button that will trigger the show of the notification. However, we'll be able to control which achievement the notification shows. So let's get started. Um, first, I'm going to go ahead and create a UI button, and I'm just going to call it. I'm gonna change the text to show notific notification. Right, maybe increase the font a little bit. That's good enough. And the next part is we're going to have to start working on our scripts. So I'm going to go ahead and go to a scripts folder and create a new script. I'm going to call it um, Achievement Notification Controller. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this script onto our notification game object. Uh, drop it here. Now open it up. Now, the first things we want to do is uh, start using the Unity Engine.UI namespace because we're going to need to access to some UI elements. Um, and those elements are going to be actually just one the text, which is going to be responsible for the um, achievement title. I'm going to call it the achievement title label. Now, um, then I'm going to create a little public function called show notification. And all I'm going to do is pass in an achievement to it. And it's going to show that an achievement. So before it does that, we want to set the title labels text to whatever the achievements text is or title. And then we want to play the animation. Well, in order to play the animation, we need access to that animation controller. So I'm going to create a private animator. And I'm going to call this animator. Um, and then in our awake function, I want to set it equal to get component animator. Now, the way we can guarantee that this won't return null, we can add a require component um, decorator or whatever you want to call it to this class and say animator alright so we got our animator now in here it's pretty simple we can just set the trigger to appear is what we named it last time alright so that's it for the achievement notification controller Next, uh, let's go ahead and create the class that's going to manage all the interaction. I'm going to call this one the Achievement Manager. And uh, the Achievement Manager is actually going to, well, before I start, let's create a new empty object. I'm going to name this Managers. I like to reset all of my transforms first, and I'll move it all the way up. And then I'm going to drag the achievement manager onto it. Now in here, the achievement manager is going to need access to our achievement database. And I'm also going to need access to that achievement notification controller. And uh, another cool thing is, because we're using this dynamically generated enum, we can actually specify the event enum as a public uh, property or public variable and um, achievement to show and if we do that if we go back to unity once it all compiles you'll notice that we get this sweet little you know drop down which will update as we add and remove uh, achievements from our uh, database so while we're here let's go ahead and add the database and the notification controller now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to create a public function called show, show notification, which will basically do the same thing that achievement notification controller does, but um, it will first fetch the appropriate achievement. So, um, if we do achievement notification controller that show notification it takes in an achievement so we need to get an achievement object so achievement achievement 
and then we can pass that through. Now, it says it's unassigned, um, which means we need to actually get it from somewhere. Well, we can get it out of the database because the database has all of our achievements or has the list of achievements. However, to get the one at the correct index, all we need to do is take this achievement to show it cast it to an int. Because remember, this is a enum, and enums are basically just const ints and that are named. So if we cast it, we get our achievement object, and then we can pass it through to show notification. So the next part is we just wire up the button to do exactly what we want. So if we click on the button, go down to our onClick method, and then drag in our managers, and then go to achievement manager, and um, show notification. And if I didn't mess anything up, in theory, this should work when we click the button. All right, again, I forgot to set a reference to the title. So if we go back to the button, or to the notification, which one? Yeah, to the notification and drag our title label now it should work as you can see it says ASD 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 um, and if we come over here and switch to goodbye it's gonna say the same thing because I never changed the actual titles of our um, achievements in properties so if I come over here and change this to hello world and this one to goodbye if I can spell. Then well, I don't even have to hit generate enum. When I hit play, you'll notice it says goodbye. But if I go into the manager and change it to hello world, hit hello world, and it works. Um, in the next video, we'll create a actual GUI drop down that will replace this in editor drop down. All right, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.